Hello Libra, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your bonus September 2023 tarot reading and prediction for you guys. It's a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box. So you can reach out to me if you want to. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also switch the energies if you're cross watcher, sun, moon, rising, any placements in Libra, you can watch this reading. Let's go, let's see it. What's happening for you guys? Okay, we have the lovers. The fool. Okay. Two major arcana back to back. Okay, the world. Ooh, major arcana. What's happening? Are you falling in love, Libra? <laughs> Looks like, yes. The world and three wands. You could be dealing with Aries. That's going to be your seventh house if you're Libra rising. Um, you could be dealing with Taurus. Could be another Libra. I'm seeing Aquarius. I'm also picking up Gemini energy here that you could be dealing with. You could be 30 years old, 35, 31, or this person could be. Um, some of you, not for everyone. You could be also dealing with Leo. With the yin and yang energy. I'm seeing uh, yin and yang energy, sun and moon. Page of swords. Here you go. Someone is watching you. Ooh. Ace of swords and page of... Okay, some of you, you're already talking to this person. Someone has a crush on you. You are falling in love or someone is coming towards you. They, they like you. Period. This is period energy. It's, it's, uh, I cannot make this up. This is something happening. It, it wants communication. Ace of swords, communication. Page of swords, page of wands. Wow, communication. It's looked like Libra that you have someone, uh, maybe two people here interested in you with these two uh, pages here. One could be a fire sign, one could be an air sign. And you maybe have a choice between these two people. One is definitely someone from your past here with the lovers and maybe the, oh wow, that's why. We have the lovers um, in the beginning. So lovers is definitely also sometimes talk about choice here. And the full card, you have to take the leap of faith. Obviously you have to make a decision between two people. You cannot be reckless about it because don't take this uh, situation very casually. But... You may be used to talk to these people casually. You never took them seriously, maybe. That's a message. Or let's say this person never took you seriously and they fell in love. Hmm. With the, uh, with the world card, I think this is someone that already completed the cycle. World and the fool card is definitely talk. I don't know. It's a new beginning happening here in love. Either this is someone that who's coming back, returning, wanting to try again. They will send you a message. And this is not only a message coming. They want to talk. It wants. Back to fact, you will back to back. I'm seeing communication, talking, calling to each other. You may be even going to meet this person on internet. I can see that with the eight of wands in the world. Three of wands, this is a long distance connection here. If you're not resonating, this is not for you. Um, could be also talking about uh, you will meet this person on a dating app, social media. Maybe you are traveling somewhere and then you will meet this person. Or let's say in the previous way, when you met this person, you were maybe you met this person in maybe some type of other country, other place. And this person gonna reach out to you because they have your phone, I think. They, sa they save your number. Message coming, I'm, I'm telling you, message and call coming from this person. This is definitely someone who definitely going to tell you they're ready and willing to tell you about the truth. Ace of Swords is like revelation. I think this is someone who's gonna reveal to you that they're into you, they wanna talk to you, they wanna be with you, they're serious, they wanna take it seriously, they wanna be in a relationship with you, with the lovers here, because look at this, Nine of Cups. You are this everything that they ever wanted. If you're a woman watching this video, and if you're a male here, you're definitely going to go after this woman, this feminine energy, I would say. It's not gender specific. It's about energy. This is a feminine energy. So if you're sitting down here like this, um, focusing on yourself and being who you really are, being shining, um, princess treatment I'm hearing. So this is literally, I think, um, the person is coming towards you. They definitely have a crush on you. Someone has a crush on you. They'll like you. Look at this. This person is coming like a fool. I want you. There's also someone else here who's spying on you, checking on you, stalking you. Like, what are you doing? Who you're talking to? And this is, looks like your past person or ex-person. They still want to know that if you have someone else or you moved on because they're still holding on to you. Maybe you never had something with this person. It could be a situation ship. It could be someone that you used to talk to and you stopped talking. This person's still waiting for you. That when you will come and talk to them, when you will 
maybe tell them that you like them, you have feelings for them. I think you definitely have a people admiring you from afar. Now, another thing here, some of you, you're definitely traveling somewhere in the next eight days or weeks. Uh, it could be even the next month, next one to three months. I think you will be maybe traveling somewhere. This is also someone who wants to travel to see you and meet you. They're willing to do it. Because I'm seeing there's a definitely visa and paperwork needed here, visa, passport. Because you're living in a different countries, or let's say that you're planning about it like where should we meet? Because you're planning about, it could be you're not in a different country, but you will definitely decide to meet in some type of other country or place where you should both be together. I think you will definitely go on a trip with this person, or they want to take a trip with you. I think you know who this person is, literally. Some of you, this is a new person. Like you're about to fall in love with this person. You're about to meet this person. You're about to just, it's going to be like this, fire. They will see you and they will be like, oh my God, who is she? Who is he? That's my person. This is uh, someone who's definitely think that you're a star. You could be even a star. You could be a creative person. You could be in social media. You could be influencer. You're looking good. You're looking delicious to these people. The way they are coming towards you is like, they're younger than you, I think. This could be even the same person. They maybe have a fire and air placements in their chart. I'm also picking a very strong Capricorn placements. We also have Aquarius, Sagittarius, could be Leo and Aries. Now, I'm also picking up, for some of you, it's not romantic. It's something that you are being creative, so there's definitely some type of a collaboration coming. You're definitely going to talk to people. You're going to have a business meeting, or there's some type of a contract that you're signing. Even it could be about a job that you wish coming true, like you ever wanted to select it in this type of company, place, or let's say organization, or even institute for education, for learning. So this is like a dream come true, because you will move into a different place or a different country. Uh, you will travel you're in your dream country, in your dream place. There's something about dream coming true. I don't know what does it doesn't mean, but yeah, it is. Now, but I'm seeing the lovers here. So maybe some of you, you have been deciding about the lovers could be choice between two subject or two careers path also for, for you. So you could be thinking about it. This is also talking about the choice between two lovers. So you have to decide. Or this is someone who's returning, so you will think about it. Should I take them? Yeah, that could be a decision. Obviously, it's a decision that you want to take them or you just want to free yourself like, no, I'm good, thanks. So this person could be even a Pisces. Someone is dreaming about you. Like, they're putting you on pedestal. I don't know who is this person, but they're putting you on pedestal with, with this energy of Nine of Cups. This person, Jupiter, could be in a Pisces or... Because there's something about this person's energy is like they have a Pisces placement. And this Pisces, because we know that Pisces rules by Neptune, and we, I'm a, as a Pisces, I can, I can definitely confirm that 100% here. So wherever the, you know, Pisces placements are, they definitely make you uh, obsessed with the other person or put the, you know, like, dreamy thing and idealistic thing. And this person, <laughs> literally, they're, it looks like they're dreaming about you. And they're, they're dreaming about you. They're idealizing you, how it would be when you will be their partner, how it would be when you will go on a date with each other. You make this person so happy. There's something about your body, okay? You like your aura, your body is also this person like it. They're ideal. Like you have an ideal body or ideal figure, let's say, or ideal aura. Like your aura is very positive. That's really, I think, attracting a lot of people right now. You're also going to get some type of inspiration from people. They're going to definitely admire you. Uh, some of you, you could be in a public eye. You could be a model, actor. Or you can become a model, actor, dancers, or something to do on a stage, performance. So I think you will definitely get attention of a lot of people. You may be planning about your future. Yeah, wrong timing. Yeah, there's someone coming. The timing was wrong. Maybe with this person, they were not ready. But now they are. Yeah, now they're awakening to this. Someone is definitely realizing. I'm seeing the eye here. So definitely keeping the eye on you. This person is in the process of awakening. They're realizing yeah, this is someone who's awakening to the past life connection. They feel something very strong with you. They never felt to, I'm hearing with anyone. This person could be in a, even get a reading on you. They could be into crystals, divinations, or you could be into that. This, they find you very mysterious, very uh, otherworldly. We have a lessons, self-development and self-growth. It's came up reverse though. So this is someone, be careful. Maybe they did not still learn their lesson, but... They're very, very attractive and drawn to you physically. I told you, there's something about physical here. This person literally wants to sleep with you. 
wanting more more and more this person could be extroverted be careful someone could be with the page of wands and eight of wands also the sign here that they maybe want to sleep with you it could be a one night stand with the emperor i said emperor so it could be aries definitely but i said uh, the world and you know the lovers and could be uh, what is this the full card yeah it could be one night stand it could start as a like casual relationship but this can be more or maybe you started with this person some type of friends of benefits or casual relationship if you had been intimate with this person but if not they're going to start like this you could be getting the signs about this person you know who i'm talking about this person is really really attractive to you drawn to you like this i'm picking a butterfly could be important moth to a flame that's a song of weekend i think yeah, this is your soulmate past life, divine connection. Okay, so one of them is definitely your soulmate. If there's a two people coming, one of them is your soulmate. Or let's say this is the same person, they're awakening to this, like they finally know that you're the one. Past life and soulmate. You definitely have a very strong connection. This person putting you on pedestal and they're coming. I think you're coming to union. If you're single here with the nine of cups, being single, being enjoying your life, you will definitely attract this person when you're single. Because write down... You are definitely going to, you have a, in this lifetime, I'm telling you, a soulmate. And you will meet this person. But write down what type of characteristic you want in a partner. Then this person will come because universe will give you. It's going to happen very fast. You just need to be very clear about who you want with the Nine of Cups. Make up your mind. And if this is the two people coming, you have to make a choice. Because there's one of them is definitely you have a soulmate connection with from past life. You will feel very, very, very intense connection with this person. This is also someone who could be awakening to, their awakening that you are the one. And they're coming to you. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.